Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome back to another brand new episode. And today we're gonna create a very simple poster design using Adobe Photoshop. And we're gonna play around with shapes, colors, color balance, and there are a lot to cover. So if you love designing and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please do subscribe. And you can also support me on my Patreon. And there is a Patreon link in the description list below. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. So here we go and we're in Photoshop and very first thing let's create an artboard and for that press Ctrl and N and I'm going for 4 by 5 resolution to 300 color mode to RGB bitrate to 8 and let's keep everything as default and let's click on create and then right after that let's create a background and I'm going to create a solid and let's go for kind of off white somewhere around here all right and then and then let's add some shapes. So let's go over here, add a rectangle and then control T. Let's add some skew and let's make this part taper just like so. And maybe something like that. And then let's click enter. All right. And then let's change the color to kind of of black something like that and control T let's move it right around here let's change the anchor point somewhere around here let's add a little rotation like that and let's make a copy control and J control T let's move the anchor point right around here again let's add a rotation just like so and maybe let's increase the size like that and let's make a one more copy control J control T again let's keep it somewhere over here let's add a rotation let's make it bigger and let's increase on this size this size maybe and let's make it a little smaller just like that Right, and then let's make a one more copy control J control T again same thing let's keep the anchor point right around here let's add a rotation maybe increase the size and anyway we can tweak it later anytime so uh, it doesn't has to be perfect yeah let's keep it just like so and let's make a one more copy control J control T and let's make it all the way to bigger it's something like that let's add a little rotation and just like so and maybe let's cover this bottom part just like that like so all right and let's do some uh, adjustments so let's move it just around here maybe let's keep it like that and let's keep everything inside a group so select all press ctrl and G and let's rename it as a shape you know what like let's do a few adjustments here and there all right so this is what we got and then let's create a layer max so click over here create a layer max and let's go to brush and i'm going to use uh, this explosion brush so let's go over here and then let's see yeah let's go for this brush and then with the black color selected let's erase some of these parts yep just like so and then let's drag and drop our very first image right over here and let's right click create clipping max control and T let's make it bigger just like that 
here we go yep let's keep it like that and then let's create a one more layer right click create clipping max go to brush and again with a kind of similar darker color let's erase some of these parts from here just like so all right and then now let's drag and drop a background so let's go over here let's drag and drop this background right over here let's keep it under this layer again same thing right click create clipping max and good thing it's already clipped so control t let's make it a little smaller right that and then for this one let's drop down the opacity a little bit like so and then again for this image create a layer max go to brush and with the same same particle exposure on brush let's erase uh, some of these hard edges from here just like so all right and then let's drag and drop another image so this one let's create drag right over here and let's keep it all the way to the top right click release clipping max control t let's make it a little smaller and let's maybe some more and let's keep it right around here and let's go over here and click on that layer max and let's erase some of these parts so here we go let's reveal some white and maybe add some more right around here maybe let's add some rotation just like so maybe some more and let's go for another brush let's see this one and then let's add a little particle right around here maybe here And let's add some rotation again yep just like that all right so this is what I got and let's do some color adjustment so let's go over here select this image go to filter let's go for a camera raw filter and then let's uh, drop down the whites let's drop down the highlights let's increase the shadows Let's increase the clarity let's increase the texture and let's drop down the vibrance maybe somewhere around here let's go to color mixer and let's go to the luminance let's increase the luminance for yellow just like so and drop down for red and drop down for yellows a little bit and let's keep it like that and let's click on ok and let's do the same thing for this image so select this layer go to filter and let's go to camera raw filter and let's apply the previous setting and I think this is looking pretty good and I'll just click on OK and let's do the same thing for this background so select this one go to filter and let's go to camera raw filter and then let's apply the previous setting and for this basic tab let's drop down the exposure some more yep something like that and let's click on ok and then what i was thinking is i'm gonna make this uh, whole image black and white so let's go on very top let's add a black and white right around here so this is what we got and let's add a curve on top so go over here add a curve and let's increase the highlights a little bit and then let's front that side of some more yep somewhere around here and from here let's drag and drop this texture on very top let's change the blending mode to screen control T let's make it smaller let's add some rotation and let's keep it right around here that's looking pretty good and then let's add a text on very top so go over here let's click on text and let's change the color to kind of darker red control T let's make it a little bigger just like so 
and then let's add one more text on the bottom and let's make it a little smaller just like that and then let's drag and drop another texture right around here let's keep it just above that main text layer right click create clipping max max and let's change the blending mode to soft light so you can see there is some texture added on that text layer and press ctrl and t let's make it a little smaller just like so and let's see how it looks yep it's looking i think it's looking pretty good with those dirt textures and you know what like to make those text pop up uh, let's create a new layer right over here go to brush again and let's go for a kind of darker color and then i like to go with a general soft brush and then let's add a darker tone on the bottom and let's dial down the opacity a little bit yep just like so and maybe one more right around here and i think this is looking pretty good and then let's add a one more text on top I have one more broken glass texture so let's drag and drop right over here let's change the blending mode to screen Control T let's make it a little smaller just like so and then let's add some rotation let's keep it like that somewhere around here and press Control and L and let's uh, make it a little darker just to erase some of those hard edges, just like that yep like that and then let's create a layer max again and go to brush and let's erase some of these parts from here just like so you know what this just add a little textures on very top and and then let's go right over here create a new layer go to brush and then let's add some particles right around here so yep let's go for this one and let's change the color to kind of darker color that's good you know what like let's go for let's see yeah i like to use this one and then let's add some particles right around here Let's keep it right around here right click create create clipping max and let's add some other particles too yeah go for this one yep like like that all right i think this is looking pretty good and then let's add a color balance on very top so let's go over here click on color balance and let's clear I'll go on highlights and for the highlights let's add some warm just like that yep something like that and yep that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and i'll see you on next video till then you guys take care be safe and be creative bye bye